Do you feel like you're using your mind to its fullest? Or do you find it hard to tap into its full power? In the book The Source, neurologist and consultant Tara Swart explains how to use your mind's full potential to achieve your goals. This involves understanding how your brain changes with your emotions, different ways of thinking, and the law of attraction. This video will show you how to make the most of your brain to create the life you want. We'll talk about neuroplasticity, how your brain can change and grow, ways of thinking, different methods to expand your brain's capacity, law of attraction, how to use it to increase your mind's power, four-step process, practical steps to apply these ideas in your life. Let's get started. Chapter 1. Five Ways of Thinking. Rely less on the negative. Swart advises not to depend too much on negative beliefs or motivations. These can overpower your positive mindset and hinder your growth. For example, constantly worrying about your job and finances can lead to a negative spiral, affecting your productivity and performance. Instead of letting negative feelings weaken you, challenge them. Look at your problems from a broader perspective and consider their impact five years from now. If they seem manageable, focus on the positive and let time improve things. Physical harmony being in tune with your body and senses strengthens the mind-body connection. This involves interoception, the sense of your body's internal workings. To improve physical awareness, keep a daily tracker of what you eat, how you feel, and your bathroom habits. This helps you understand the link between your body's functions and mood. Additionally, try a body skin meditation, where you take deep breaths and focus on each part of your body. Intuition or inner knowledge. Trusting your gut is crucial. Research shows that a healthy gut positively affects mood and reduces negative thinking. The gut releases 90% of the body's serotonin, the happy hormone, linking gut health to mood. Exercise regularly, eat nutritious foods, and manage stress to improve gut health. Avoid excessive alcohol, as it can harm the gut microbiome and increase stress, affecting your inner wisdom. Logic. Logical thinking helps us make good decisions by identifying cause and effect relationships. However, emotions influence every logical decision we make. Balancing logical thinking with other ways of thinking is key. Misconceptions or wrong facts can impair logical thinking. For example, if you felt bad after swimming once, it might not be the swimming itself but other factors like diet or sleep. Decision fatigue can also affect logical thinking. To avoid this, create routines that reduce daily decisions, like planning meals for the week. Creativity. Creative thinking isn't just about artistic expression. It's about envisioning your future and choosing options to make it real. Believe in your creative abilities. Everyone can be creative, even if they're not artistic. Creativity involves thinking outside the box and finding innovative solutions. Now let's talk about Chapter 2, Law of Attraction. Once you know how to boost your mind's energy and productivity, you can use the Law of Attraction to shape your future. While some see it as a spiritual idea, there are scientific reasons behind it. Here are the key principles. Principle 1. Abundance. Start by adopting an abundance mindset. This means believing that the universe has enough resources for everyone's dreams. This positive thinking helps you stay motivated and polite, moving away from a scarcity mindset, which is based on fear and competition. Rhonda Byrne in The Secret says changing your mindset can change your world. Swart, a neurologist, explains that our brains focus more on avoiding losses than achieving gains, which can hold us back. To adopt an abundance mindset, see failure as a step towards success, encouraging you to keep improving. Principle 2. Manifestation. Manifestation happens when your desires and actions align, helping you attract what you want. It's not just about thinking positively, but also taking action. Manifestation relies on two brain processes, selective attention and value tagging. Selective attention. This is when you focus on important things and ignore the rest. Our brains process a lot of information every second, but can only handle a small part consciously. By focusing on what you want, you train your brain to notice those things more, creating a helpful attention bias. Value tagging. This means giving emotional value to the information you take in. Emotions greatly influence our decisions. Attaching positive emotions to your goals can help you achieve them faster. For example, if you enjoyed family walks as a child, you might have a positive feeling about walking now, helping you spend more time outside. 
Studies show that emotional tagging happens subconsciously and affects most of our decisions. Being aware of this can help you focus on what's important for your goals. Chapter 3. Four-Step Process to Change Your Life This chapter is all about applying what you've learned to transform your life. Here are the steps. Step 1. Increase your self-awareness. Self-awareness helps you spot opportunities for change. Start by journaling about how your childhood influences you today. Write about your family, their beliefs, and how they shaped you. Think about how these things still affect you. Some experts suggest creating a genogram to map out family behavior patterns over generations. This can help you understand and deal with family issues. Next, list six beliefs that affect your happiness. For each belief, write down evidence that supports and refutes it. Decide if these beliefs add value to your life. If not, let them go. Nancy Klein talks about three types of limiting beliefs, facts, anticipations, and basic concepts. Challenge these beliefs to grow and move forward. Step two, create an action board. An action board reminds you of your goals daily. Put pictures and items related to your goals on it and place it where you can see it every day. This visual reminder keeps you motivated. Step three, become more aware. Practice mindfulness to stay present and break old patterns. Mindfulness helps you form new, positive beliefs. Swart recommends mindfulness meditation a few times a day. You can do a body scan meditation or focus deeply on activities like eating, walking, or listening to music. Research shows mindfulness improves focus, relationships, and connection with others. Joining a mindfulness group can make it easier to build this habit. Step four, practice. Change takes time and effort. Regularly practice the methods you've learned to build strong habits. Identify barriers to your goals by making three columns on paper. Goals, behaviors preventing those goals, and beliefs driving those behaviors. This helps you understand what's holding you back. Create a list of affirmations from books, movies, and people you respect. Repeat them daily to shift your mindset. Write affirmations in the present tense and keep them positive and solution-oriented. Place them where you can see them often. Push yourself into new experiences to overcome the fear of failure. New experiences trigger brain changes and help you understand the world better. They can be small, like hiking a new trail or listening to new music. These experiences release dopamine, making you happy and focused. Remember, to make permanent changes, you need to repeat new experiences regularly. I hope this helps you understand your mind and brain better and gives you insight into the scientific side of the law of attraction. With this knowledge, you can effectively use the law of attraction to manifest anything you desire in life. Keep reminding yourself of these patterns and watch as you bring your dreams to reality. If you've made it to this part of the book summary, it means you love books as much as we do. Before you go, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and let us know which book summary you'd like to see next. See you soon with more amazing videos. Thank you so much.